Alrighty, so welcome to my channel. This is going to be, what are they not telling you? Okay, this is gonna be that type of forecast. So welcome, if you're new, make sure you hit that subscribe button and that notification bell if you wanna see my messages in the future. And if you're returning, thank you so much for your constant support. Now we're gonna go ahead and get straight into it. We're gonna pull some cards and kind of see what comes up. And yes, if you do want a personal message as well, because you like my messages, all of my information to reach out to me will be listed below. Alrighty, so what's going on with my Geminis and the person that they're interested in dealing with, uh, have in mind at this current moment, what are they neglecting to tell my Geminis at this current moment in regards to the connection they have with my Geminis, okay? What's the energy? All right, we're going to start pulling some cards. All right, freedom. So Geminis, what this person is neglecting to tell you is they want to make sure in the relationship that they're not being smothered. All right, for some of you, you may be that type of uh, girlfriend where it's like, oh, babe, I want to do this together. I want to do that. I want to do this. I want to do that. They want to feel like they can still go out with their friends. They want to feel like they can still not, you know, act like they're single or anything like that, but still have some sort of life outside of the relationship. They feel like also it's important for you guys to give each other space when it's not necessary for you guys to be up, un uh, up under each other 24 seven. But like I said, this person really wants to make sure that they can still have their sense of freedom, especially if you guys are moving in together or something of that nature. They want to make sure that Again, there's not going to be this clingy energy or them feeling as if they're trapped, okay? Interesting. Okay, let's see what else comes out. What does my Gemini's person want to say to them? Stillness, okay? So they're really, if you stop talking to this person for some time, this person is really trying to get some mental clarity right now. Um, the reason why things have been a little stagnant as far as communication is concerned is due to the fact that they're really going into a space of, Looking at this situation like, okay, well, what exactly caused this relationship to fall apart? How could I have acted differently? Things of that nature. Also on how things can get better if they were to reach out to you or if you were to reach out to them. Um, for some of you, they may even think that you're living your best life right now, that you're taking this break from this person, especially if you put this person on a break because you want to live your best life. Okay. For some of you, you may even be posting pictures online, like you're living your best life. And this person is noticing that and feeling some sort of way about that. Okay. But they definitely do want to speak to you if you did stop speaking to them for some time. And if they stop speaking to you, it's because they're needing to be at peace with their mind right now or just gain more insight on what is next for this connection. So let's keep pulling. OK, so we have wisdom. So for a lot of you, you could have been dating this person for some time. It doesn't have to be for 50 million years or anything like that. But you could have been dating this person for some time and they feel like everything that's been going on in the relationship has taught them a lot. So that's something they really, really want to say. They want to express to you that, look, this relationship taught me a lot, whether that's how to love properly or how not to love properly. But with this wisdom, this is them taking those experiences and learning from them again if good or bad okay this person is definitely also understanding that maturity needs to come into play as well in regards to relationships so if they were lacking that maturity they could be emotionally coming to a place of being more mature when it comes to how they deal with their emotions how they express them and how they handle relationships as a whole okay Let's pull one more card. Let's see. This is interesting. All right. So we have forgiveness. Okay. So if there was any sort of cheating situation or lies or just misunderstandings, this person really wants to be forgiven. Okay. Especially if they caused it on their end, they want to be forgiven. They want to know that if they were to reach out to you, that things will be okay. Especially if you guys are not speaking right now. If you guys are dating right now, they want to know for sure that you're 100 percent over whatever may have happened in the past. For some of you, if you did the cheating, they want you to know that it's going to take some time for them to forgive you based off of what they know and what they may have experienced. OK. 
Um, what else I'm seeing with this? For a lot of you, they could be also really trying to trust in the divine when it comes to fixing things with you because they feel like that would just make them completely happy and they just want to make sure things will be okay if you guys did take that step. Now, let's actually move beyond this. Let's pull some romance angel cards for what they want to say to you. Ooh, and we just got cards flying everywhere. One second. Hold on. Alrighty. Yeah, we're going to pull some romance angel cards to kind of see what's going on here. All right. So what does my Gemini's person in mind, their love interest, the person that they're thinking about currently, what do they want to say to my Gemini's that they haven't said already? And what are they not saying to my Gemini's currently that they really need to say? What's that energy? Okay, so first card out, worth waiting for. It says divine timing is at work in your love life. So like I said, they've been really waiting on you. If you stop talking to this person or you guys should stop talking in general, this person is definitely waiting for you to reach out to them. They want to know what's the 411. <laughs> what are you guys going to do moving forward? Are you guys just going to leave this situation at a dead end? Is there a way that you guys can fix the circumstance? Things of that nature here, okay? I have the chemistry card. It says there's a strong magnetic attraction here. So for a lot of you, this person wants to let you know that they're still feeling you, that they're still waiting for you to reach out. Like I said, they really are checking for you and they really want to know like, look, is there a way we can spark things up again? For a lot of you, it could have been really steamy at one point, and this person is definitely wanting things to go back to that, all right? <laughs> the next card we have, release your ex. Like I said, they're stuck. They are so stuck on you. Oh, my gosh. For a lot of you, this person cannot clear you out of their energy. They don't know what to do. Uh, they may be, like, very, very much overstressing about this, guys. This is... <laughs> Whoever this is, poor them. They're they're really going through it in regards to you, all right? Especially if this is somebody who you were in a very strong, committed relationship with. For some of you, you could have been married to this person at one point. There could have been talks of getting married or it just was super, super serious to the point where it almost felt like you guys were married or that it was just, like I said, something that's super, super committed for both of you guys. But yeah, this person definitely cannot get you off their mind. They're really running into circles in regards to what the hell is going on here. And I feel like this person really needs some clarity from a lot of you guys. This is this is a lot. Okay, so let's see what these heart cards are talking about. Um, Gemini's. What messages does their person want to pass on to them? So we have sacred union and this is honor and treasure relationship for it is truly sacred. It says acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There's no point in trying to change that which is beyond our control. And I also have friendship and it says nurture the bonds of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve. So this person does want to, for one, let you know that they definitely do take the relationship you guys had very seriously but they understand that the basis of how things may have been going for some time it may be hard to get to that point to where you guys were prior so with this they're trying to accept the outcome but they're kind of wishing hopeful thinking that you guys can fix things and move forward but for a lot of you if you guys can't be in a relationship this person's even willing to take friendship from you because they feel as if there's a chance that you guys could start off as friends and evolve into a lot more Okay. All right. So let's pull some tarot cards and I think we're going to be done here. Let's see. What do the tarot cards have to say about this situation? Um, Gemini's and the person that they have love interest for or has love interest for them. How does this person truly feel currently? What are the things that they want to say to my Gemini's that they haven't had a chance to say or they haven't said what is the energy surrounding that let's see oh empress 
this is so beautiful. Okay, so the Empress, this is all about growing beyond the past. This is also about fertility. Um, for some of you, they could like possibly thinking about having kids with you, okay? If you guys do have kids, they appreciate you as the mother of their children, okay? But for a lot of you, they got babies on the brain, okay? We got two fetuses over here, really strange. All right, um, for a lot of you as well, this person feels like there's certain things that could be cut out of the relationship that are unnecessary, um, but they really are willing to give you their heart and take the, the cage off of it and open up here. They just want to make sure that if they do offer their love to you, that you'll be willing to accept it, okay? Um, they feel like you definitely, you spark something within them that makes them want to grow as an individual, so that's very positive. Let's see, Princess of pentacles okay so like i said this is oh this lady's pregnant too for some of you if you have kids with this person this person is definitely missing you and the child that you guys may have with each other for others of you if you're like expecting this person really wants to be there for your pregnancy but they may feel as like you you don't want them to be there at the moment or they don't know how to show up like that, especially if this, if this is something that's new for them. Others of you, this person just wants an opportunity to grow beyond what you guys have been stuck up under for some time. Yeah, Five of Swords, this is like you guys having mind game issues or problems with communication as well. Um, and this person is really trying to end that cycle of like manipulation and issues with the bickering back and forth. Um, this person also feels like if they offer the opportunity to see where things could go with you, they don't want to feel like you're going to try to do some stuff behind their back or try to get them back as far as revenge is concerned due to what they may have caused in the past or did in the past. Let's pull one more tarot card. Let's see. What do they want to tell my Geminis? We have the five of cups. Like I said, this person is very regretful for whatever happened in the past between you guys. They're going through it. I got the five of cups. Free yourself. <laughs> Release your ex, divine timing. The whole reading is pointing to being kind of stuck. All right. So I don't even think I need to go into more details. I think I'm going to stop right here. Whoever this person is, they really need some mental clarity from you. Okay. So that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you guys were able to take something from this reading. If you did, please make sure you thumbs up, comment below, and subscribe. Drop a butterfly to let me know you made it all the way to this point of the video. And thank you for your constant support. Everything you need to reach out to me to book a reading and things of that nature will be listed below. And I will see each and every one of you in the next one. Bye, Geminis.